Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are spawning Niagara particles on MetaHuman Skeletal Mesh for a sequencer animation. Before you get anything going in Unreal Engine, I strongly suggest that you duplicate your MetaHuman and remove all the clothes. So this is the MetaHuman I am using for my animation and this is the almost unclothed one. Now the reason for this is because the clothed one doesn't have any mesh inside the clothes, probably to save resources. Once you have both your MetaHuman exported to Unreal Engine, you can basically start animating the MetaHuman you want to use in the sequencer. I have already gone ahead and done the animation, as you can tell, this is from the previous video. Now if you really have that much time in your hand and that much more patience in your head, you can go ahead and start placing particles frame by frame for however long you need. For the others who don't like doing the menial task, this is what you need to do. Once you have your scene set up, right click, go to FX and create a Niagara system. We will create the emitter within the system itself but you can go ahead and have it separate, suit your taste. And finish. Give it a suitable name and open it up. If you have an environment as background, as opposed to this black one, what you can do is go to window and click on preview scene settings. Here you can uncheck the show environment. It is easier to work with black backgrounds due to contrast. Also use this drop down here and uncheck orbit mode to make navigation familiar. Otherwise you are stuck with hideous orbiting controls which no one asked for. As for particles, we need it to spawn on the mesh. So we don't need sphere location, you can get rid of that. Also get rid of initial velocity, particles are falling so let's just be god and remove gravity. Drag ain't gonna do anything here so let it be I guess. We need the particles to spawn as per skeletal mesh. So hit plus on particle spawn and look for skeletal mesh location. It warns that there is no mesh assigned. Just look for a preview one and you should be good to go. This is not the final mesh so don't worry too much. Now this is just for spawning, we needed to update as well based on the animation of the skeletal mesh. So in particle update, click on plus and search for skeletal mesh location again. We are basically using the same one. Same warning so give it a preview mesh and be done with it. Now one major problem is that particle distribution is quite sparse as opposed to the reference mesh. That is because the particles are spawning on bones by default. To take care of that, go down here and look for mesh sampling type. Change skeletal bones to surface, triangles or vertices, it's up to you. There isn't much change now, but it is because we need to do the same in the particle update section as well. You can see the difference immediately. The particles are spawning all over the surface. Let's just increase particle count and see what we have. Yeah, it is basically the skeletal mesh. If you don't want particles to spawn continuously but just one time, you can get rid of the spawn rate and bring in spawn bursts instantaneous or something like that. We are almost done, just one more step. We need to tell this particle system to update from an actor in the scene as opposed to a skeletal mesh asset from the library. To do that, we need to expose a skeletal mesh variable to the user and then use that to refer to our metahuman. So just click on plus beside user exposed and look for skeletal mesh. Give it a suitable name. This is what is going to interface with both skeletal mesh location modules inside your emitter. So click on that and drag and drop the new variable into skeletal mesh. Do the same for the other module down below as well. You don't see the mesh just yet, but when you put it in the scene and reference the correct actor, it should work. Compile and save and go back to your scene. Now for the reference in the scene, grab your almost naked metahuman clone and set it up in the position. We are going to make him invisible so he doesn't bother us later.
Now you can bring in your Niagara system to the scene and place it wherever you like. It won't matter since after setting up the source it is going to stick to the metahuman. Before we retarget the particles, let's take care of the animation first. To animate the reference mesh, what you need is to copy the animation from the already animated metahuman. So select the keyframes in the body control rig of the original metahuman and Ctrl+C c to copy them. Now you can track the new metahuman into the sequencer. Expand the body section and click on the body control rig and Ctrl+V v to paste the animation. And that takes care of it. Now if you scrub through the timeline you can see this is animated. Once you have that, select the particle system from the wall outliner. In the details section, look for override parameters. You should see your custom variable there. Expand that and assign the mesh. Look for the mesh being used by your reference metahuman, which is M medium normal weight body in this case. Yours might vary, so take note of it. Now the most important thing is the source. So select the reference mesh in here and you should be good to go. Change the source mode to source and click fix now for this warning. Now this all looks good, however we still can't see the particles and the reason is the bones and pores in the metahuman do not update at every tick. To change that, open the blueprint of your reference metahuman, the one which is driving the particles. Select the body while in the viewport and in the details panel go all the way down to optimization. Change the visibility based anim track to always tick pose and refresh bones. Save and compile that. particle system would say CPU accessor so fix that. And now if you change the source again to default, you should see the particles sticking where they should. Default and source both work, I'm not sure what the difference is but who cares as long as the work is done. Now we have the particles referencing the skeletal mesh of metahuman. Let me know in the comments about your thoughts. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you again in the next one. Have a great day.